Hello YouTube. We are starting a new project today. It's not going to finish today. But we uh, in southern Indiana actually have the wonderful opportunity to be able to fish for pike on our lakes here that are imported from up north. And the problem is they only bite when it's freezing ass cold here. So instead of freezing our ass, we're going to build a winter top for the boat here today and we've been talking about it over the last year but we we're lucky enough to have another buddy that has an old pontoon top that he doesn't need and we're going to use a structure of this frame to put it up on that boat there and uh, we have a little heater a little propane here to put in there and we'll stay warm when we troll for pike in the winter. So, and G-Rex is back. <laughs> G-Rex is back. And Oscar. Oscar, you're here too. So, anyways, uh, we've just, we're gonna start making our first cuts. We're gonna take uh, 27 inches off on each side, go from there and flare this out and uh, use the two longer parts of this thing is what we're thinking about. Um, and then these connections are... This is TD taking down 27 inches of our frame with a hacksaw. Aluminum cut, not a big deal. Oscar. Oscar. Good boy, buddy. G-Rex is filing these down right here, but we're going to rubber cap these ends. Those two ends right there are actually going to go in the bottom corners of that front windshield is the plan as of right now. So G-Rex is measuring the width of this, which I think was 91, right? And obviously, our little 16-foot boat's not nearly as wide. We're going to cut it right down the middle. And then we're going to put some corrugated pipe through the center of that, slowly bend it for a structural support. And we're going to put some half-inch pipe all the way through the center of this crossbar and then do some self-tapping screws. All right, so we cut the center and uh, G-Rex is lining up the middle of these two. Want to play with a pen? No. All right, so G-Rex has got this cut through the center. He's marking the center right here as we put the front post down in the corner for support. This is TD now cutting our uh, half inch conduit to fit into our aluminum that we had cut for a yeah, rebrace. Inner dimension of just just larger than half inch, so this will fit perfect into you see like the slides right in there. Okay, so now we're having to bend our half inch cut. Yeah, wanna... All right, here's our series of cuts. It's cut down the center, but we have the conduit pipe through there. It goes down into the corners and we can strap it into each of these corners for support. So that's the first piece, and we're going to add on the extension fold-out piece. It'll go over the heads for the roof here. Doing the self-taps here, putting in the conduit for the structural support. Nice. Perfect. Good job, Project Dog. Oscar, 
Good job, ma'am. All right, so we have the front mount for the top done. Awesome, there we are, man. Preliminary structure of the uh, winter boat top for pike fishing is, we're done for the day, I gotta head out. With the pull down yeah. to our brackets. Oh, that's gonna be money. I mean, we could, we could also just screw we, those we in. We could screw them in. Let's just screw them in. And, then, and we don't have to bolt them through. And then just, once we get level, we can put a four foot level on here. Yeah. To get it level. And then we could measure. Yeah, and then just measure the. Our deal from there to there. Yeah. And come straight down. So. Then G Rex just needs to learn how to sew. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a sewing All right, almost done with this. I'm gonna finish the video before we're 100% complete. Uh, did a through snap there for uh, to keep that flap down through the wind. Just need to do some sewing, some light sewing, uh, but uh, I've used it already and uh, it works fantastic. So just need to cut out some of the excess, do some sewing, use some uh, some straps. That's a bungee strap, or a Velcro strap there, and, I, and then we also, uh, I also did a through snap on these down to here to give some extra support for the roof. So that's it. Um, on the extreme cold, we can also do some of the, uh, just like a freezer case plastic with the flaps that we can hang out down the back, so, which I have, uh, but I haven't, I haven't uh, installed those yet. So. Anyways, I hope somebody can uh, get a good idea to use some scrap aluminum tubing from an old boat and use it on a newer one and uh, be able to have fun year-round. Thanks.